Good evening, you're watching the news from the Salt and the Television. First, the headlines. Six citizens and an expatriate die due to rains witnessed by a number of wilayas of the Sultanate. The Directorate General of Meteorology confirms that tropical depression has diminished with continuation of chances of rainfalls. Rainfall measuring stations register high quantities of water retained in recharge dams. And the Sultanate participates with other countries of the world in marking World Food Day. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. Royal Oman police announced that six citizens died due to the weather condition in the Sultanate, four people died in Wadi Gol in the Wilaya of Al Hamra, and one citizen's body was found in Wadi Al Ma'mur in the Wilaya of Bahla. Meanwhile, a child was washed away in Wadi Bin Souk in the Wilaya of Rostak. Though he was rescued, authorities said he succumbed to death later. The police also announced out an expatriate from the Wadi Mu'aydin in the Niaba of Birkat al Mouz. Latest weather maps shows that tropical depression has diminished. It also indicates that the depression, which centered in the north Iran, will continue affecting the governorate of Muscat Musandam and the south Batna. Ibra, Dahira, Bremi, Dahliya, North and South Sharqiya, and North Wusta. Mahmoud bin Nasser al Busaidi, meteorological specialist in the Director General of Meteorology, explained that the numerical weather prediction chart indicates the continuation of chances of rainfalls in a number of the Sultan's governorates during the next two days. As the air depression covered the north of the Sultanate from the 4th till the 15th of October 2015, some governorates of the Sultanate witnessed heavy to moderate rain, causing wadis and tributaries to overflow. The rains measurement stations affiliated to the Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources registered varied quantities of rainwater in the affected wilayas of the Sultanate. The highest quantity of rainwater was recorded in the government of Dakhliya, where it reached 65 millimeter mainly in the wilaya of Iski, followed by South al Batna, where it reached a 48 millimeter in the wilaya of Rostock. Meanwhile, the Sultan's dams accumulated huge amounts of rainwater, the highest of which was recorded in the dam of al Wadi al Hawasna, where it reached 268,000 cubic meters. To prevent hunger and malnutrition, world countries are celebrating World Food Day held on the 16th of October each year. On the occasion of this event, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth organized a souk exhibiting women's rural and coastal products in Grand Mall, Muscat. Around 24 women are taking part in this souk selling traditional handmade food products derived from natural resources. This activity aims to showcase women's capability in contributing to the food safety and productivity system in addition to their vital role in manufacturing food. Still to come in our news bulletin. Omani women give presentations at Milano Expo in Italy on fine arts, food security and social voluntary initiatives.
Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. Israeli troops today shot dead a Palestinian in the West Bank settlement of Kiryat Arba. It brought to 34 the number of Palestinians killed during alleged attacks since October the 1st. Hundreds more have been wounded in clashes with Israeli forces since the start of the month. Seven Israelis have been killed and dozens wounded. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, under pressure of recent comments that have labeled incitement, quickly condemned at the fire of the site known as Joseph's Tomb in the northern city of Nablus. The United States Security Council is due to hold an emergency meeting at Jordan's request today to discuss the upsurge of violence. A senior military official said today that Russia has hit more than 380 Daesh targets since launching its bombing campaign in Syria on September 30th. Backed by Russian air power, Syrian government troops today pushed ahead with a massive attack against rebels in the center and north of the war-torn country. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said that government troops were attacking the rebel-controlled areas in the southern part of Aleppo. After receiving military reinforcements, the rebels recaptured some bases on the outskirts of the village of al sabkia which they had earlier lost to government forces. The EU leaders at a summit in Brussels said they agreed on an action plan with Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan to cooperate in improving the lives of two million Syrian refugees in Turkey and encouraging them to stay put. They also agreed to coordinate border controls to slow the influx of migrants crossing Turkey from Asia, though the plan put no figure on substantial and concrete new funds. The EU would offer German Chancellor Angela Merkel said the figure of 3 billion euros had been discussed and seemed reasonable. The approved plan with Turkey include easier visa access and opening new chapters in Turkey's long-styled EU accession talks. Markel is due to visit Turkey on Sunday for talks with Erdogan on the migration crisis. With the activities of Omani women, which are held in Milano Expo, a number of Omani and Italian women presented their successful experiences in various work fields. Her Highness Saida Tania Al Said, Chairperson of Environment Protection Society, presided over the ceremony. During these activities, the Omani women gave presentations on fine art, food security, and social voluntary initiatives. The Sultanate Pavilion in Milano Expo witnessed a number of shows related to Omani women life, arts, and fashions. Within the framework of preparing the touristic landmarks and preserving the beauty of the golden sands in the wilaya of Ibidia, in the government of North Sharqiya, the wilaya citizens, some governmental authorities and voluntary teams organized a campaign to clean some locations and roads which lead to these sands. The campaign was associated with awareness programs as well as distributing a number of touristic booklets. The 30-kilometer campaign started from al Raqqa to al Idan area, which is the most important areas visited by the tourists. Singapore formally launched the testing of driverless vehicle on public roads this week, pushing ahead the study of technology aimed at reducing its dependence on main power and joining some U.S. states and countries like Germany. The Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology Smart, along with the National University of Singapore and the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, showed off their two self-driving vehicles in the one north neighborhood of Singapore, which is home to several research facilities and educational institutes. Smart's driverless car, a converted Mitsubishi electric vehicle with a top speed of 30 km per hour is fitted with motors for steering wheel, the brake and the gas pedal and the sensors. For security purposes, a person still needs to sit behind the steering wheel in case anything goes wrong. On the same day, Singapore's tourist destination, Gardens by the Bay, demonstrate their 
driver driverless vehicle, the Auto Rider, which they say is the first fully operational self-driving vehicle in Asia. Now for the general weather forecast, clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas of the Sultanate with accumulative clouds and scattered rainfall in the governorates of South and North Sharkia, Muscat, Dehlia, South and North Batna, Zahira, Bremi and Musandam. Clear to partly cloudy skies will be over the governorates of Musta and the Far with chances of scattered rainfall. Winds will be easterly to south easterly light to moderate, occasionally active. Seas will be moderate to rough along the coast of Sea of Oman with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters and a slight to moderate along the rest of the Sultan's coast with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Six citizens and an expatriate died due to rains witnessed by a number of wilayas of the Sultanate. The Directorate General of Meteorology confirms that tropical depression has diminished with continuation of chances of rainfalls. Rainfall measuring stations register high quantities of water retained in the recharge dams. And the Sultanate participates with other countries of the world in marking World Food Day. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studios and the newsroom, it's good night.